Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I am back with some more ideas for our junk journal idea book. So mine, as you can see, is getting to the point where it's not closing. It probably wasn't the best choice with such a skinny spine, but here we go. I'm going to keep going with it um, because I still have some pages I can fill up. So today I'm going to show you some ideas of how to use circles um, in your junk journal. Um, and you can use any papers you have. I'm going to set my book aside for now. Um, any papers you have, um, but I'm going to be using today some fun digitals. Um, the kit's called Autumn Bakehouse, and um, it is by Paperomia, and I will put a link to the kit if you're interested um, in the description of the video. Okay, so, um, but again, you, use whatever papers you have on hand. One thing I love to do is craft with circles, and um, I also use a lot of belly bands, and so I put this together to kind of show you um, how we could make a really interesting, it looks like a collage, but it's it can also be, you know, a tuck spot on a journal page. Now I did this one by making kind of a journaling card so you could write here, and then this entire panel will get glued to the page, but you can also just make the strips. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then decide. Um, and then this is just a really simple way to use some circles if you've got some images that you want to highlight. I think it's fun. This, this whole piece could just be tucked in a pocket and then it's some like a little interactive with the brad on it. I mean, there's nothing easier, right? But another thing you could do is get it turned the way you like it and um, attach it to a page and it could be a tuck spot. So that's an idea. And then I'm also just gonna show you some really easy um, corner pockets you can make with circles. And in fact, let's do that idea first. We'll open up our idea book. Um, and then we're gonna make one of those fun belly bands. And I'm also going to attach some sequins and beads and show you how to do that as well um, on paper. It's the same as if you were attaching them on fabric, but I got those in my, um, big box that I purchased from that lady on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, I've got to come up with some ideas. And I just really liked, um, I liked the little sequins and beads and there's some different ways you can sew them on. So we'll do that together. Um, okay, so if you want to use some circles to make um, a, a pocket um, on your journal, I'm going to trying to find a piece of paper that I want to use. I'm going to chop mine into one and three quarter inch circles. And so I'm just picking out one of the pages. Now this one I printed at like 60% and um, because I knew I was going to kind of chop it up and or punch it out in circles. Chop it, punch it. I don't know what I'm doing this morning. Um, and I thought it would be cute to um, have the pumpkins and everything just a little bit smaller than that full size, right? Let's see if we can get that teapot. I want to get over to the teapot. So, um, and you can make this, you know, with different size circles. Um, but again, I just decided to go with a one and three quarter punch. Now, um, you can ink these, you can do whatever, but... If you just take your, um, you need one full circle and then we're gonna cut one circle in half. So I just fold it over in half and then um, we'll just cut right on that, that fold line so that I can show you how to do this. La, la, la. And this is where I should have planned out what I was doing a little more in advance. This is how you do it. Goodness, Pam. The straight corners go, the straight edges go along the edges of the paper. So I'm going to use my um, PVA glue and just glue down on one side like that. And then this one, add glue to this edge. 
that way. And now we have a very cute tuck spot, okay? Um, something square also fits in there, cute, but I wanted to put that pumpkin in there, okay? So you can also, I'm gonna eyeball it this time, cut it in half and do one like a top tuck spot. And again, you can see here how if you have larger circles, you're gonna have a larger little pocket. And if you do small ones, um, they'll be tiny. I would say I have done, done this style on um, a tag before where I cut a small circle so that it fits on that size for the tag. So for example, if this little house, isn't it cute, is going to be our tag or the base to our tag. Let's see if I've got just a, a piece of paper. Let's just make it a little bit larger. So let's say we're going to, I like all these little houses. I think they're cute. Let's say we're gonna have a tag, I don't know. I'll give you the measurement here in a second. That is two and a half by four. Whoa, two and a half by four. I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes. So I'm making my little tag and I'm adding pretty things to it. I'm gonna cut the corners. And then I'm gonna show you how you can make a little, it's the same idea as on the page, but how cute will it be to, I better put things back where they belong. Let's punch out, um, this is a one and a quarter inch circle. We could go smaller, but we're gonna punch out a one and a quarter inch circle. And again, cut it in half. And we can just add a sweet little corner pocket right to the tag. And then the tag now also can act as a little tuck spot. Here's one where I, I glued a cute little sequin to it. Look at that. And then of course you ink it, add some ribbon, add a little word or something, and you have just a really cute, sweet little tag. So I'm gonna tuck that one in there to remind us of that idea. So this is using circles, and then I'm going to later um, attach the belly band. And again, belly bands, depending on how tall your page is, you know, you may want one um, taller um, or to go for the whole page, but when you, um, I don't want to cover that up. When I made it this size, I was also thinking, you know, it could just be attached to a page. We now have this lovely tuck spot and some room to write. So different ideas. I am going to stick this in here to hold our place in my book. All right, so that was how you can make just some little pockets with circles whether you put them on a page, a tag, a card, something like that. Now, let's work on making a belly band with circles. And I'm gonna just use a strip of paper. We're not gonna make a super tall one. Let's see how, this is just the paper I have on hand. Let's see, this one is gonna be seven inches. And if you have your circles, um, go off the edge of the strip, it'll be, taller than seven inches. So again, you kind of need to understand or know if you don't care if it's the same height <laughs> as your journal or if um, you want to know, okay, my journal page is eight and a half inches, so I want my belly band to be eight and a quarter inches, and you can then adjust um, how you do that. All right, I already punched a bunch of circles out. And one thing when I'm making belly bands with circles. I don't always want them layered. Let me show you just like if we put these pumpkins at the top 
and just come down with it like this. I mean, that, that's fine and you could do that, right? But I like having them layered, like this one's on top and this one's tucked underneath and then we've got another one layered on top and underneath. So I tend to take my time, I go ahead and ink my edges and then I play with how they look layered and then I start attaching them, okay? Now, I will also say um, I have different sizes here, and I think it makes it look interesting. But, you know, it would, it would be cute to maybe do one with all the same size circles, right? Who knows? All right. And we will attach a few sequins here at the end. Those look like little pieces of a pancake. I do like getting some of the different colors. I liked that this particular page that I punched these out of um, had all kind of the neutrals, but had this pretty blue in there. I liked that a lot. That teapot. And then I even have some punched out this size, little ones. Okay. So see how they started to layer differently? I like that. I think it's cute. And you can always add a label or something later. So we're going to glue this together and then we'll sew on some sequins. And you can sew the sequins on first if you want to. So this is where um, you have to just kind of remember what you're doing. Hold everything in place a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there to grab that pumpkin. And then it's kind of paying attention to which ones we have on there. I'm just adding glue and um, on this strip of paper that I'm using, it's like a, it's my normal weight cardstock that I tend to use. Um, and I just kind of start seeing what I think looks good and how I lay it out in practice. It's never exactly the same. If I put the glue on the circle like that, I know it's also gonna attach to the circle up there. And it is easy to get glue all over your mat with this strategy. So you might wanna put something underneath <laughs> so you don't have the same problem that I do. All right, we'll see how we're doing. Um, sometimes I get near the bottom here and I realize I need another circle and that's okay. Can always add something else. That one kind of sideways. All right, and you can always add more. Like I said, we could add labels, whatever we feel like putting on there. Um, in fact, let's pull out my little book. Um, if you guys watched my video on how to make one of these ephemera books, I will tell you that I have discovered as I'm using it, I actually like the smaller size on my desk. Um, not that this one doesn't work, but it just seems to take up so much more space on my workspace and it's a little harder for me. Um, even though this has most of my, most of my delightful fuzzy cuts in it. Um, so just, just a thought, if you haven't made yours yet, um, kind of think about that. I, like I said, I find this one covers up what I'm looking at a little more than I would always like. All right, let's see if this little tab is gonna look cute. Just thinking about tucking it up under. Yeah, I like that. So we'll add glue to the little tab. Stick it there. All right, just to give it a little something different. We could put a bow, a ribbon, you know, we could just keep going. Okay, so that belly band would work beautifully in a fall journal just as it is attached to the page in the journal. Or if you wanted to add it like to a journaling card like I did this one, you could do that. All right, let's sew on a couple of sequins. Um, leave me a comment. Do you guys like bling and, and fancy things um, in your journals? I, um, I like a little sparkle. 
Have I told you guys how the, my Silver Sparkles came to be the name of my business? <laughs> my channel, all that. Um, when Back in 2020, when the pandemic first started, um, literally as everything closed down here in Virginia, I had a hair appointment and um, couldn't go to get my hair colored. I had been coloring my hair for years um, to my natural red, or as close to my natural red as I could get. Guys, I'm gonna just start picking up a few sequins here. I tied my, my knot and I'm gonna decide where I want one and poke a hole with the needle to bring it up through, okay? Anyway, missed the appointment and so as the months went on and more and more of my natural silver, gray, whatever my daughter calls it, silver color came through, I decided to stop coloring my hair. When I started my Instagram and, and all of those things, um, my daughter's the one that came up with silver sparkles. Um, it's our little motto, if it doesn't sparkle, who needs it? And we basically say my hair sparkles. So there you go. All right. Um, playing with these sequins I am going to pick up the sequin and these are kind of a cup shape and again I have no idea how well you can see this but I am going to bring my needle up through the bottom so that the little cup is facing up and there's different ways you can do this I'm also going to pick up a little um bead and um a beading needle would be better than what I have. This is just a regular sewing needle, but I can't find my beading needles. So it doesn't always go through those seed beads the best. Okay, so I've come up through the sequin and, and the seed, beetle, seed bead, and now I'm gonna go right back through um, the whole of the sequin. And I kind of went over just a little so it wasn't exactly through the whole of my paper just because this isn't fabric, just to try to give it a little more stability. And that grabs the seed bead, and it looks cute. And then I am going to um, tie it off. Now, part of the reason um, I thought about mounting this onto a card um, was I just thought it would give it a little more stability, but I was also thinking about having an extra little pocket too. I meant to mention that, so. All right, so I'm just tying it off. And I may come back at the end. I, I sewed these beads on before I attached it. So a lot of these little threads are, are underneath. Um, I'm thinking about I'm gonna come through with a piece of washi tape and make this smooth so that whatever we slide or pass through there um, will not get caught on all my little knots and threads and stuff. I hope that made sense what I'm talking about. When, you, um, when I attach this to my journal page and then I go to stick my cards through, I want it to be as smooth as possible so they don't go and not, not slide through. <laughs> That is my um, sound effect for you today. All right, let me get my needle rethread in a knot so that I can show you another idea with a sequin. And I liked these gold ones. I did do a blue, a couple of blues. Um, but then I also found that I had these orange ones. I haven't done an orange one yet. So let's get an orange out. And depending on which way you turn the orange ones, it's either a darker orange or a little bit lighter orange, it looks like. Or no, they're just two different color sequins. There you go. All right, so if you don't wanna do a bead on there, um, we can just sew a sequin on. So let's pick, how about an orange one for right here? I'm gonna poke the hole where I want the, the sequin to be and bring my needle up. And then I'm gonna grab the orange one. This one I'm gonna put on upside down just for fun. And then we are going to, I think you can see that the sequin has one, two, three, four, five, six little points. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna sew this sequin on by, I came up through the hole and now I made a stitch um, right to one of the points. And then I'm going to come back up through the hole 
of the sequin, hopefully. It's a little bit easier on fabric than on paper, but I definitely like the look of these. All right, back through the hole, and now I'm gonna go to the um, little point or line of the sequin um, that's kind of across from it. And we're just gonna do this for all of the sides. So back through the hole, back down. And I picked a place in my belly band where there's lots of layers of paper. And you don't have to go all the way around. I could just do four or I could do all six of the points. And for time's sake, I think I'm just gonna do four on this one because it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. But it kind of makes it look like a star with the fabric or with the thread on the sequin. All right, well, I definitely need at least one more because now it looks off. It looks off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys see the sequins and the beads go flying? Um, I have one of those bead boards that I should probably get out. Um, I have been crafting for many decades and have been in and out of different um, things that I'm really um, enjoyed. And I, I have done beading. Um, and I still have a lot of the supplies, which are fun when I'm wanting to make dangles and other things. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this um, on all six points. I think it looks better. Um, but sometimes remembering or thinking, you know, it would make sense to get your little bead board out so your beads don't fly everywhere over your flat table, um, you know, until it happens, I'm not really thinking about it. All right, and then I'm just gonna knot it here Hopefully, um, it came unthreaded, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're just going to tie a little knot off, and I'm gonna tape with some washi tape at the end anyway, so these won't go anywhere. All right, leave that a little long. So look at that, how cute. Oh no, the sequin fell off. I must not, I think I cut it too short <clears throat> when I cut the knot. So let's not do that, right? Because that one was so cute. I won't sew it back on right now, but that is disappointing. All right, so then, so those were my ideas to um, do the sequins. Um, and you can do it upside down, the right side. I think with the beads, doing them the right side up makes the most sense. So this one definitely needs a few more sequins, but I love how it turned out. Now, when you're attaching it in your journal, just adhesive here and here. Um, and I don't wanna attach this one yet because I'm gonna play with it and add more sequins. So let's put this one in the idea book. All right. I hope you guys, um, We'll play with circles. I have other circle ideas, but I didn't think I was gonna have time for too many more. That makes me happy. All right, we're gonna put this one here and I'm gonna attach it on three sides so that we remember what we're doing. Three sides and then I'm going to um, add, oops, let's let the glue grab first, Pam. Um, we'll put something cute through the belly band, this little cup of coffee, very sweet. And then in this large pocket, I think this page is going to fit. Yeah, now, now see how awesome that page now looks? I mean, you don't even need anything else if you don't want it, but you can write here, and depending on what you have in the belly band, it's almost like a hidden journaling spot. And then these guys, again, we could attach them and make them a tuck spot or a pocket. We could add more and make it almost like a flower. Um, I would think a piece of ribbon on here would be cute. And then it can also just go in the belly band for now, just to help me remember my ideas for how I want to use my circles.
All right, I hope you guys like the, the um, papers. I hope you like the project I came up with. Um, please leave me a comment, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day until next time.